Hi guys, Lena here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Linda and I'm a few minutes away from Lagos. In today's video, guys, we're going to be talking about the difference between Chinese hair and Filipino hair. If you want to hear all of the tea, then please keep on watching this video. Please grab your popcorn before we get right into this video. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please support your girl. Click on the subscribe button just right below. Also, turn on the post notification bell right beside the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my uploads. So, without further ado, guys, let's get right into it. So guys, let's start with the origin of these two hairs. This hair which I have here is a bundle from, it's a bundle of hair sourced from China. This is their 9A hair. While this one right here is a Filipino hair, it's their natural straight hair. And um, it's just natural straight, they don't call it double drawn, they don't call it 9A, they don't give it any beauty, they just call it natural hair. So, the thing with Filipino hair is you can vouch for this hair and say that yes, this hair was actually sourced from a Filipino woman. But for Chinese hair, when I look at the way Chinese people's natural hair look like, this definitely does not look like what a Chinese person's hair looks like. A Chinese person's hair looks thicker. But then you buy Chinese straight, you buy hair from China, but you find out that the hair which um, a Chinese person is selling to you as Chinese hair is not actually Chinese hair. Because this is not what a Chinese person's hair looks like, but <laughs> it is what it is. China tends to import hair from various countries. So in most cases, when you're buying hair from China, you, you can't actually vouch for the hair and say, oh, this hair is actually Chinese hair. Because in most cases, these Chinese vendors who call the hair, oh, it's Peruvian hair, oh, it's Mongolian hair, oh, it's um, Malaysian hair, oh, it's um, uh, what? What else do they call it? They could find various names and give to the hair and you can't really trust um, the true origin of the hair because you don't know what girl they cut the hair from and in most cases they don't even know what who they cut the hair from because they just tend to gather their hair from wherever places they gather it from whether from salon floors from various countries and just they send it over to china and they make it into a weft and they call it um their straight hair so when it comes to Chinese hair, you can't really trust the true origins of the hair because most times these um, Chinese hair vendors are not completely honest with us about the true origins of their hair. But then this is Filipino hair right here. It's sleek, it's smooth, it looks warm, it's, it looks healthy. Wow, the Chinese hair, it's just straight. It looks a bit hungry, but then what do we do? <laughs> it's Chinese 9A, 9A hair. This is not double dry, and this is also not double dry. This is just the Filipino regular hair, and this is also the Chinese regular hair. So now let's talk about the varieties when it comes to like the Chinese hair. So a natural Chinese woman tends to have like just a straight hair. You rarely see a Chinese woman that has curly hair. I've never seen one before. At most, your hair might just be wavy, but on the average, most Chinese women tend to have bone straight hair. While Filipino women tend to have um, hairs from straight to wavy to coily. So that's um, the thing with um, the variety when it comes to like a natural hair pattern of um, the Chinese women and the Filipino women. But in most cases, these hair companies are now able to then um, do steam processing for the hair to get various curl patterns. So a Filipino hair company can choose to um, steam curl their hair to get like a deep wave curl, to get like a wavy hair, or to get like an ocean wave, depending on the, on the curl pattern the customers tend to um, demand a lot of. So they could steam process the hair to get various curl patterns. So let's talk about the coil, the color of um, the various um, of these two hair types. So which of the which what colors of hairs do the Chinese companies and the Filipino hair companies tend to have? On the average, in Filipino companies tend to have colors from black, from jet black to brown to even blonde. If you want blonde hair, you can also order um, blonde hairs. A blonde hair from um, a Filipino hair company. You just have to tell them you want blonde hair, and they'll give you the blonde hair you want. So, while for China, of course, you will see all colors of hair. The one big color, like this, is the most um, common color. You you could also see blondes as the six one three hair. You could also see wine, green, yellow, orange. So when it comes to like buying hair from China, there's a whole like there's so much variety when you want to buy hair from China. But as much as there's so much variety when it comes to like color and colors of hair in China, you can't really trust the quality or the durability of the hair. That's just my issue with China. With Filipino hair, you find that maybe they may not really have as much um, color um, color ranges like the way like the Chinese hair companies tend to have a, a white color ranges. Because with Filipino hair, what you just tend to see is mainly like the brown, the jet blacks, and maybe a few blonde hairs because they have to mix the color of the hair to get that. Um, one color 
just not talk about the price points. So on the average, most Chinese hairs are usually cheaper. Chinese hair is usually like, when I say dead cheap, China, hair source from China is usually cheaper on like when you compare um, um, Chinese hair to other com um, hair companies, like probably hair from um, Filipino, hair from um, India, hair from Vietnam, hair from Cambodia, hair from the Burmese, like Burmese hair. You know, China hair tends to be a lot cheaper than hair source from other countries. And um, let's say I was to, if I was to buy like hair like this from China, I'd probably buy this hair right here for let's say twenty five dollars. And if I was getting the same length of hair from Philippine from the Philippines, I'd be getting the same length of hair for for somewhere around sixty dollars or so. So you just find out that China hair is actually more cheaper than hair from the Philippines. If you're looking for a vendor that will give you cheap hair, even if the policy is not so amazing, then it's China for you. But when it now comes to us like quality of hair, guys, for quality. Philippine has it like hands down. You don't even you don't even need to argue. Just look at the hair. Just look at the hair. You know obviously that men the Filipino hair is definitely better than the Chinese hair in terms of the quality. You can wear this Filipino hair straight. You can coil it. It's gonna hold the curl because the texture of the hair. The hair is the hair is sleek straight, but then it still has a bit of it has um a bit of a coarse texture to it. So if you have to coil it, it's gonna definitely hold curl. Unlike um the Chinese hair here that just has a very soft um texture to it if you have to coil it you need to put products in it that's going to help it hold coil but if you're just coiling it on its own without products it might not necessarily take the coil well and even if it took the coil the coil wouldn't last long by the time you brush it out a bit it's definitely going to um, um it's, it's going to start losing the coil and then and the issue i tend to have most time with chinese hair is chinese hair is usually like hairs that are that you buy from china it might not necessarily be chinese it might be hair it might actually be hair they probably source from india or any other country it's usually more affected by humidity depending on how the weather is in the hair might start to get frizzy or start to look not look as clean as it used to look when it was still new but when it comes to like the filipino hair the way it looks now that's the same way it's going to look even after you wash the hair it still look the same but the moment you wash you wash you buy like chinese hair and you and you wash and you wash the hair the hair already starts to look it starts to look old it doesn't look as fresh as it used to be when it was just like in a bundle but it seems like you tend to coat the chinese hair most times with silicone just to make it look fresh at that first instant when you're purchasing it so guys now let's talk about texture of hair yeah so the chinese hair has a soft texture to it it has this soft texture while the filipino hair has a still it has a silky um coarse texture to it like the strands are thicker while the Chinese texture is softer and just um, smooth. Chinese hair, as I said, is more prone to be affected by humidity. And in most cases, after you wash Chinese hair, it's no longer popping the way it used to pop when it was still new. And um, let's talk about the wefts. The wefts, the wefts, the way Chinese wefts are made is like the regular um, machine weft method. You can see how the, ch um, the Chinese machine weft looks. It just looks like the regular weft, which is just flat and easy to sew on while the filipino weft is more it's more on the thicker side it's not as it's not as flat as the chinese weft looks it's thicker and it almost even looks like something that was hand wefted but it's actually like um um machine wefted and if i'm gonna be very honest i like the fact that the filipino um weft is is thicker it looks more durable it looks more like a luxury hair and upon receiving when you receive your filipino hair like the hair it smells good it smells rich it smells like something of high quality it smells it smells it smells expensive or like when you receive most chinese hair when you buy hair from china most times it smells the hair smells like chemical so you just find out that most times most chinese hairs are chemically processed or like when you're buying hair from the philippines it smells natural it doesn't smell like something that has chemical on it and that's like a big major plus for filipino hair because they tend to keep their hair natural and um of course that's probably the reason why <laughs> the price point for filipino hair is usually more than um, the price for chinese hair because most times chinese hair might chinese hairs might not be ethically sought it could just be picked from salon floors and whatever unlike um filipino hair let's talk about the process of import importing from either the philippines or from china which of these countries is easier to import from i'm gonna be very honest with you it's easier to import from china than from the philippines because i don't really know any i don't know any um nigerian agents that or any logistic company that works in the philippines that helps import hair from the philippines down to nigeria unlike china there are lots there are thousands of companies that tend to import hairs from not just hairs and even other goods from china down to nigeria and it's easier to move cargo from china to nigeria 
so for that reason it's just easier to work with um importing hair from china but when you now compare the facts that okay the quality of the filipino hair is obviously much better than the quality of the chinese hair the texture is better it's more durable you, you're gonna have hair that could last you up to 20 years with a filipino hair unlike a chinese hair that you at most you most you can use a chinese hair for is let's say if it's too long it's three years five years but with filipino hair you could you could really use the hair for a very long time and you really get value out of your money so it just depends on which of them you are willing to rock with or i'm going to keep on researching and finding out if there are ways in which one can um, ship hairs from probably from the philippines down to china and then have your package shipped down to nigeria for you i'm going to try and find out if that's really if that's possible and um maybe i'll let you guys know when i eventually find out about that anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video if you got value out of this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment section and um, if you want me to also do like a comparison video for any other hair type maybe probably like an indian hair or burmese hair or cambodian hair i'm trying to source for vendors for these other hair types so i could give you guys the tea on these other hair types so guys thank you so much for watching this video and um, please give this video a huge thumbs up like this video share with your friends who are just getting to getting into the hair industry that want to really know much much more about hair and yeah please support your girl subscribe to my channel watch my videos to the end and in this video yes i'm going to be doing a giveaway for one of my my wigs i'm going to be asking a question and the question is going to be um uh, what is the name of um my second eyeshadow palette i have two eyeshadow palettes there's a bigger one and a smaller one if you can get the name of the smaller eyeshadow palette just let me know in the comment section and um, you definitely win a big from me so guys let me know start answering the question and this giveaway is actually for just one person so the first person that answer this question is going to win that big from me so thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next one bye love you